I can't believe this actually printed. It shouldn't have, but it did. So let's talk about it and see exactly what I did. So this is my Prusa XL that I pre-ordered and purchased and have been printing with for over the past year or so. And up until now, it's been a single tool head version of this 3D printer, which was the single cheapest option that's available for it. And I finally decided to purchase the two tool head upgrade that allows me to print not only with multi colors, but also multi materials, which is what I'm experimenting with in today's video. So Repcord and I did a four hour our co live stream where we we're both simultaneously upgrading our Prusa XLs from a single tool head to the dual tool head options. And basically Repcord was just making sure that I was going through this step by step and not screwing anything up along the way. And I have to say the actual upgrade process was really kind of straightforward, just following that detailed guide provided by the Prusa team. And once I got this set up, I was honestly kind of amazed at how fast the tool changing system is on the XL. I knew it was gonna work well and it is fast and it doesn't produce nearly as much waste as some of the other multi-material systems that are out there, but it's like, it's not really until you see it for yourself in action, do you really understand it? And it was just kind of blowing me away watching it do its thing with this first test print. But this right here was one of the big selling factors for me wanting to upgrade my XL from a single tool head to the dual tool head options is being able to print with PLA and PETG simultaneously. In this case, I printed this mask here from VEC3D in PLA and I use the supports in PETG. So this should allow me to remove those supports really smoothly and easily. And thankfully the Prusa team has a guide dedicated to exactly this. There are also pre-built out profiles called Soluble Full that you can utilize that have this all pre-set up for exactly this scenario right here. Now you could mix and match these where you have the print in PETG and your supports are in PLA or like I did here where the print was in PLA and the supports are in PETG. This also means that you could do some really wide things like printing with flexible filaments, mixing those with PETG or PLA as well. And I'll definitely be testing that out here in the near future. And the reason why I was saying that this should never have printed is because typically for this to work, you need the PLA print or the PETG print, whatever your main print is, to have some portion of that to be touching the build plate. And then the other support material can come off and actually support that in other areas. But you need somewhere for the print to actually adhere to the print bed. In this case, I didn't realize that until I was like an hour or so into the print job and realized that, yeah, my entire PLA print is entirely supported with pet G. So I was crazy nervous throughout this entire print that the actual print would end up breaking away from those supports because in theory, this is supposed to just snap right off very cleanly. So let's test that out and see. Now, one cool thing about the Prusa and the multi-tool heads is that unlike the Bamboo Lab and the AMS system, it's not gonna produce a ton of poop. You just have this purge tower that's gonna print along with the different filaments that you might be working with or the different color filaments that you might be working with. So you're not wasting an excess ton of filament. And then the other amazing thing is just how fast and rapid the tool changes are because you're not loading and unloading any filament. Now the chin piece broke away extremely cleanly as I was trying to remove it from the build plate. So let's see how these supports remove from the actual print. There we go. <laughs> that is so cool. That worked so incredibly well. And what's amazing about this is how clean all the areas are where the supports were interfacing with the actual print here. It's just really clean and seamless to where those supports ended up. There is a little bit of stringing on here that I'll have to clean up. Also under this one eye, I'll get a, try and get a close up where you can see it looks like the red from the pet G might have oozed slightly into the PLA. So there's a little bit of an issue right there, but everything else looks so 
good off of this print. And yes, I know you can actually do this on other 3D printers like the Bamboo Lab 3D printers with the multi AMS system. But the big thing for me is that it's not wasting a ton of filament purging every time it's making a change, swapping in and out to the filaments. Now, one thing that I do wanna look further into is just doing the actual swapping on the actual interface layer where it's just ever so slightly touching the 3D print versus printing the entire support set of structures here in this other material. If you didn't already know, the XL is definitely an expensive 3D printer. The single tool head option here when I first ordered it, I think was $2,200 is what it cost me to purchase this, just a single tool head. And then I paid 600 and I think $50 to upgrade it to the dual tool head. I'm basically going the most expensive route for upgrading this 3D printer. And to go from the two tool head to the five tool head, it's gonna cost me about $1,150 to do that whole upgrade path. Yeah, it's uh, definitely the most roundabout, most expensive way that you can go about doing this, the upgrade path. But this is where I'm gonna be here for the current time being here, being able to print with two materials or two different colors at one time on this rather large 3D printer. But if you're interested in more information about the Prusa XL, I'll have links to those down below. I'll also have links to Vec 3D has a new Patreon where it has this Dr. Doom Fortnite mask. I think there's a Magneto mask and of two other files that are in there that I'm looking forward to 3D printing. Very excited that they started up a Patreon. And speaking of, I also want to say a big thank you to my Patreon members for your continued support of me making content here on the interwebs. If you're interested in things like my 3D printer settings that I use for my 3D printers, you can find those over in my Patreon. And let me know if you have any other suggestions on what I should try printing with either two different materials or multi-color 3D prints here on the XL. I'm honestly thinking I might just go and do a multi-color Magneto helmet print here off the XL with that new VEC 3D file. Hey, thanks so much for watching y'all and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, I forgot to see if this actually fits as well. Yeah, that's really good. Hey, VEC 3, we need like a full Doom hood with this as well. I might just have to add some straps to it.